I have to make a video right now to reply to this. If the world was going to end in seven days, first of all, before I even start the video, um, I would like to say to to um, Bundag Bear, I don't know if that's how you say it. I have to, I have to say I love the dreadlocks, love the look, the glasses, everything. Okay, now let's continue. The part where you get uh, in the video and you say that if you're watching this video, you're rich. I come from a third world country. I come from Cuba, which is con it's in the Caribbean. And I migrated to the US when I was nine years old to go into 10. Our floors was made out of dirt. Now it's made out of carpet. The biggest TV that you could get was about, about this size in color. If you had a bigger one, it would be black and white. I'm just simply showing the differences, just to make a point. For, for you to be able to take pictures in Cuba, you have to go to the professional shop, get a picture, and it still looks like crap. You could just buy a cheap camera and take the pictures yourself. Not trying to show off anything like that. I'm just trying to prove a point that you are correct. If you wanted to listen to music, you couldn't do it because most of the people didn't even have a radio. If you have internet, you're rich. If you can see this reply to his reply, you're rich. If you consider yourself poor, it would be to the standards of this country. But to the standards of a third world country, you're beyond rich. Being able to sit down in this chair, look through this camera, upload this video, and post it, People in third world countries wouldn't even understand what that is, you know? In in seven years after that, no, excuse me, not seven, about nine years after that, this is what happens. Only nine years. Getting to this country and starting from zero, no money, not even clothes, no food. Nine years later, all of this happens so you do have access to wealth but anyways I'm going back to the video in seven days what would I do what would I preserve if the world was going to end in, in seven days and it was a proven fact that it was gonna end in seven days what would I do I'm gonna be honest with you you can judge you can judge me if you want I would not do anything. I would wait those seven days, live them as if it wasn't going to end. I would not preserve anything. I would just live like any other normal day. And I'm being honest. The only thing that I would probably conserve would be probably this.
That's about all I would probably conserve for other generations. And probably this too, also. Here we have the American flag and the Cuban flag. Don't think there's much of a need for me to conserve it, but it's something that's on my mind all the time. You know? Pride. Yeah, not, not really pride, but... I don't know what I should call it. And I think this is this is it. This is all I'm going to say about the video. Um, and I, I, I want to say uh, to the original creator of the video, uh, thank you. It, it's something that really motivated me to post, you know, to reply with a video because I have subscribers that like to watch replies to such things like this. Goodbye, good luck, and remember this. Okay, the bear said it, I'm gonna say it again. If you can see this video, you're rich. But actual wealth does not, does not lay on any of these items because they're all temporary. The actual wealth that cannot be taken is your permanent happiness. And that's another subject. Goodbye.